All right, now we're going to repeat that same um, cycle of events, but for floor plans instead. Um, because we deleted our only original level, that was the only one that had a floor plan. Okay, don't get the, a level mixed up with the floor plan. A level is not a floor plan. A level is a level, and you can make a floor plan of a level. Notice these are black and not blue. When they're black, it means they're levels, but they don't have a corresponding floor plan of the level. As Soon as you make a floor plan of this level, it's tied to the level, and this little symbol will turn blue, okay? So that's what we're going to do. We're going to start by making some new floor plans, okay? We're going to go up to View and say Plan View. I want to make a floor plan. And Revit saying, okay, these are all the levels that don't currently have floor plans. I don't need the parapet and roof for my... Uh, lighting, but I do need one, two, and three. So just do a shift, click, and grab that. Okay. While I do that, I can go in here and hit edit type, and I can actually apply a template view. And it's saying, well, by default, it's making it an electrical plan. Do I have a lighting plan? I don't really. So I'm going to leave it with that view template, but I'm going to change it after the fact specifically for lighting. Okay. So that's the type of floor plan I'm going to create. Three new floor plans are going to go over here. They're going to go under electrical. And I don't, I think there's going to be a question mark. I'm not sure if there is a subdiscipline applied to that. Let's have a look here. I don't see a subdiscipline listed. So uh, three new floor plans of one, two, and three. Okay, hit OK. It's going to make three new floor plans. Oh and they're going under power, okay, floor plans. One, two, and three. So now I'm gonna just kind of stop there and we're gonna work on that, but now what I wanna do in each floor, we'll might as well go down to the original level one entry. And we'll notice that we have um, our grid lines and the architect's grid lines are down below you'll if you zoom in you'll kind of see doubles in here so we need to do that same thing about the visibility graphic override vv in this floor plan view i'm going to go to revit links oh look it's already controlled by a view template so i got to hit escape escape okay let's go into view template and say manage view templates I went to that electrical plan. That's the one that's being applied. Okay. I'm going to go to this over here. Now I can go into here because the view template is controlling it. Customize, same thing, annotation, customize, G for grids, L for levels, turn them off. So I'm turning them off, but I'm, I'm actually turning them off within the view template. I'm kind of jumping a step ahead here. Hit OK, and grids and levels will be turned off in this view within the link file. So my um, electrical um, grid lines are still there. Okay, Now, that should have also happened over here because they're using the same view template. I go to this view. I shouldn't see those doubles down in here. I should just see my own um, grid lines. So now let's say we wanted to make um, these floor plans lighting, not power plans, okay? What we're going to do is we're going to go back to our view templates, manage view template. This is the guy that's controlling these guys. Now we can either see if there's an electrical lighting one in here. Okay, I don't see one. Or we can duplicate this or we can just rename this electrical plan. Let's leave it the way it is. Let's duplicate it by going in here and saying duplicate. I'm going to duplicate this and call it electrical lighting. It's going to make a new view template called electrical lighting. In fact, I'm going to rename that, call it electrical lighting plan. Okay. So we have electrical plan, electrical lighting plan. So I've cloned it. Okay. So electrical lighting plan, now if I go down here, I can now say, okay, the sub-discipline of this is not power. That's really the only difference. It's lighting. Okay, and then hit OK. So I've changed that view template, but I haven't applied it to these guys. Watch. Shift-click, 
Okay, this is going to switch from power to lighting. I'm going to right click on here. Sorry, I'm just going to shift click and go to the properties and say, you are not using the view template electrical plan. You are using electrical lighting plan, which has lighting as a sub-discipline. Hit OK. So nothing's really going to change too much other than the fact that now this says electrical lighting and then power. So lighting is the sub-discipline. And now I've got my floor plans set up, okay, or my view. So I have entry level lighting plan ready to roll. I have a second floor lighting ready to roll. I have my elevations with my uh, view templates applied. Now, the only thing is I'm seeing trees and shrubs and stuff. Let's fix that. Let's go into this view. Let's go to the DG electrical elevation. And now in this case, I don't need to go into the Revit architectural link to turn off the trees only in that link. I'm going to turn them off locally and in the link because I'm not going to have any trees in my electrical drawing at all. So I might as well globally turn it off. DG electrical elevation. I'm going to go straight into model graphics and I'm going to go down here and type in a P for plants and say, turn the plants off in this view template. Hit OK and OK. So now again, using the leveraging the view template, I can see that that will get turned off in all these views. What if I go back to here? I don't see, oh, look, same problem, okay? So let's, any view will do. I can go into here or I can actually go up into here, okay? Electrical lighting plan. Globally, I'm going to click on here, click in here, type a P for plants, turn the plants off in all electrical lighting plans that are using this view template. And those guys are all turned off in my different views. Okay, so we have our lighting. Now, we don't have, we've lost our power plants. Let's very quickly show you how you can create a set of power plants. So I'm going to go into here and say new floor plants. Now, look, they're not listed. I'm going to take this off and say, show me the levels, even though they already have views associated. Shift click to grab these guys. I'm going to leave it as electrical. That's fine. And it looks like we got lucky here because by default, those electrical plans got placed right in here under power. So we've got uh, power, entry level one, two, and three. Let's get rid of the one brackets in there because it added those in. Um, right click and rename. All I'm going to do is get rid of this. Oh, I see. We need to call it power. Sorry. Uh, right click, rename, entry level power. And let's do a shift, control C to copy that to the clipboard. Right click, rename, control V, right click, rename. So we could do the same thing with lighting too. Okay, so we've got zero one, uh, level one power, le two floor power, three floor. So we could right click on rename all of these as well and put lighting in. So essentially we've got uh, in here, we've got our floor plans, we've got our grids and levels of our only in our project, not the link project. And last thing we want to do here is uh, create a power or apply a view template, turn off the vegetation. So if I click in this view, it's using the view template electrical plan, which is fine. But the only problem is electrical plan has plants turned on. Type P for plants, turn it off globally, hit OK. And the plants will turn off here. And because these guys are all using that same electrical plan, the plants will be turned off there. So um, that's our lesson on copy monitor, linking in an architectural file, creating some views and doing some visibility graphics as well as making some new floor plans.